discuss about tissues. Tissues are a group of similar cells with a definite function. We see tissues both in plants as well as animals. Many cells which are of similar structure, they join together they for, to form a tissue. Now, if we observe the internal structure of a leaf, we see some tissues like xylem and phloem. Now, such tissues organize together and they form organs. Organs like root, stem, leaf are made up of several such tissues. Now, in today's lesson, we'll discuss about plant tissues. Plant tissues are generally divided into meristematic tissue, which contains cells which are very active with a dense cytoplasm and a distinct nucleus, which helps in cell division. They also have thin cell walls and hence they easily divide. They have no vacuoles because they don't have to prepare food or store anything for long. Generally, meristematic tissues can be divided into three different types. The meristematic tissues found at the tips are known as epical meristems. These meristems increase the length. In the lateral sides, we find the lateral meristems and we also see other meristems like intercalary meristems. Now, how were these meristems formed? The permanent tissues or the meristems which are formed, they differentiate and they change into permanent tissues. Initially, at the seedling stage, the plant is formed of same type of cells. Now, upon growth, these cells start differentiating. They get a permanent shape, size and function. And after getting like that, they will be having division of labor. So, such tissues are known as permanent tissues which are further divided into simple and complex permanent tissues. It is simple because it is made up of similar types of cells, whereas in complex we see different types of cells. Coming to the simple permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue consists of parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma. Talking about parenchyma, parenchyma is the most abundant uh, type of tissue and it is found in all the parts of a plant. Generally, if we see the TS, you can see the intercellular spaces. Parenchyma with chloroplast is called chlorenchyma. In plants like lotus, you also see erenchyma, which is the parenchyma filled with eight spaces. It helps in floating. Parenchyma is a filler tissue and is seen in all parts of the plant. Cells are generally oval to cylindrical in shape. In aquatic plants, in the form of erenchyma, it forms bionce. Coming to the other part, which is cholenchyma. Cholenchyma is generally found below the epidermis. It, is, it gives flexibility to the plants and the structural support. During heavy breezes, a plant bends but it will not break because of the flexibility given by cholenchyma. And also, apart from the... Uh, apart from... Below the, uh, below the stem, you will also see cholenchyma in the petioles of the leaves. Sclerenchyma consists of dead cells which are having thick depositions due to the deposition of lignin, whereas the depositions in cholenchyma may rip of cellulose and pectin. Sclerenchyma generally consists of sclerenchyma fibers as well as sclerenchyma sclerides. Fibers you see in the husk of coconut and jute fibers, whereas in the seeds you see the sclerides. So this is what about simple permanent tissue. Special protective tissues are seen in the stem, root as well as the leaf of the plant which protect them from injury and excess loss of water. They also help from uh, pro protecting the plant from external microbes. When we talk about the plants, see when it, for example, whenever we are taking the roots in case of roots and in case of the OD stems of the plants, we see some protective tissues. In leaf, we see stomata which are the uh, minute pores through which gaseous ex exchange takes place. Generally, in case of leaves, you see stomata which are guarded by guard cells. 
Now in the woody stems we also see the outer layer which is bark and the inner red colored layer which is cork. These both are made up of dead cells and they do not have intercellular spaces. Because of the deposition of superin they are very hard and therefore they provide support to the woody stem. So this is about the simple tissues. Now we'll go on to the permanent tissues uh, which are complex. Complex permanent tissues made up of xylem as well as phloem. Both together they are called as the conducting tissue or the vascular bundle or the vascular tissue. Xylem is a water transporting tissue which contains tracheids, vessels, fibers and also xylem parenchyma which is the only living tissue of the xylem. Water is transported in the upward direction in case of xylem. Generally, in xylem, all the three cells are, are dead except xylem parenchyma. Xylem, paren xylem also provides mechanical support to the plants. Phloem is made up of a three, dif uh, three different types of cells, namely the phloem parenchyma and the sieve tubes which are associated with companion cells and the phloem fibers. In the sieve tubes, you also see minute pores and you also see this blue colored sieve plates. Generally, phloem transports the food prepared in the leaves to other parts of the plant body. In phloem, food transport happens in both the directions. So, I hope everyone understood about the plant tissues. Plant tissues are both dividing and non-dividing. That is, they are meristematic as well as permanent.